Welcome to day 27 of NTI. Hope everyone's doing well out there. I hope these videos are being helpful for you. And at any point in time, any point, please do not hesitate to email me. Um, I would be more than happy to help you out in any way I can, even if it means me calling you and working you through these problems. Just let me know. Okay, so here we are with day 26's exit ticket. So we have 891 divided by the divisor of 97. So what you can see here is I did my 97 times tables. If that's even a thing, okay? 97 times tables to see how many times 97 will go into 891. Well, when I did that, I didn't start at 97 times one. So I see I have a pretty big number here. So I started at 97 times five and worked my way up. I realized that it actually goes in nine times. You get 873, which is the closest you can get. When you subtract 873, you get 18 left over. That's your remainder. So 9 remainder 18 is your answer here. To check it, I did that down here. Okay, 97 times 9 gave me, gave me that 873. So I did that 97 times 9. Okay, 873. And then I added my remainder of 18. Apologize if it's hard to see because it is in green, but it's, um, I added 18 as my remainder to get 891, which is my original number I started off with. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to now move on to day 27, which is a four digit being divided by a two digit. Okay, dividing four-digit dividends by two-digit divisors. So, we have 22 going into 8,294. How many times will it go in? Well, I'm going to do my 22 times tables over here on the side just to help me out here. Get 22 times 1, 22 times 2, whoop, I skipped over that. Where did that go? Wow, we got to sneak that guy in there. 22 times 2, 22 times 3, 22 times 4. Let's see if I can get a marker that's going to work for me. 44, 66. Eighty-eight, one hundred ten, one hundred thirty-two, one hundred fifty-four, one hundred seventy-six. 22 times 9 will give me 198. So I did my 22 times table, so it'll be easier for me to solve this problem over here. You sometimes may have to do all of them, but I want to have them all right there so I have less thinking to do in my head. So here we go. 22 goes into 82. How many times will it go into 82 is the real question. So it goes into 82. Closest we can get it to is three times. The 66 here. So it goes in three times, I get 66. I subtract 
82 minus 66, I will get 12 minus 6 equals 6, 7 minus 6 equals 1, we get 16. Now I'm going to bring down my 9, I get 169. What's the closest to 169 without going over? Looks like 154 here. So therefore that means 22 goes into 169 seven times. I get 154. I'll subtract and get 15, bring down my 4. Oh, look at that, 154. 22 goes into 154 exactly seven times. So my answer is 377, no remainder. Okay, now to check my work, I'm gonna, I can also do 377, 377 times 22 to do my check. I'm going to do it the strategy two way, which is 300, if I can get a marker to work for me, 377 times 20, and 377 times 2, and then I'll add them up when I get an answer. So 377 times 20 will give me 7,540. Seven, 377 times 2 gives me 754. I'll add them up. And I get 8,294 which is what I started off with. And this was our check. So I know I'm good to go and ready to move on to the next problem. So here we go with number two. I want you to go ahead. I've already put my multiplication facts off the side here, my 62 times tables. Haven't solved them yet, but they're ready to rock and roll. So now I want you to figure out how many 62s We'll go into 3,628. Hit the pause button now to solve that problem. Okay, so here we are with number two. 58 remainder 32 was your answer for this one. You figure out that 62 goes into 362. It goes in five times. You get 310. You subtract. You get 52 here, bring down your 8, you have 528, 62 goes into 528 8 times, and you get 496. You subtract, you get 32 as your remainder. To check it, I did 58 times 62. I used my second strategy when it comes to multiplying, I did 58 times 60, 58 times 2, I ended up getting 3,596. I added my remainder of 32 here to get 3,628. Let's go ahead and move on to number three. Okay, here we are with number three. 5,340 divided by 89. Go ahead and solve that now by hitting the pause button. Okay, here we are with number three. The answer was 60. Here is where I think you made a mistake if you made one at all. When you took and found 89 goes into 534, you found it goes in exactly six times. Exactly six times, as you can see over here with my multiplication facts. But you wrote six, and then maybe you were just done. You were like, oh, I'm done. I got it. No, you can't stop there because you still have something left over. You have, you have a ones place. Okay, so you need to bring that down. Yes, there's zero there, but you have to show 89 going into zero, zero times to give you 60 as your overall answer. To check yourself, just do 89 times 60 
and you'll find that you get 5,340 as your answer. Okay, we're going to move on to number four. So number four is 4,872 divided by the divisor of 29. Now I didn't do something right here that you may want to do. What might that be before you actually start solving? Go ahead, hit the pause button and do that and solve for it now. Okay, here we are with number four. The answer you should have received was 168 remainder 10. If you didn't, let's find out why before moving on to the exit ticket. 29 goes into 48 one time, and obviously 1 times 29 gives you 29. You subtract, you get 19. You bring down your 7, now you have 197. 29 goes into 197 six times, that's the closest you can get to it, you get 173. You subtract, you get 24. You bring down the two from the ones place, now you have 242. 29 goes into 242, eight times is the closest we can get to it, and you get 232. You subtract, you have 10 as a remainder. And don't forget how important it is to check all of that. So you, I came over here. Here's my check. 168 remainder 10 was my answer. So I'm going to take 168 times it by 29 using the second strategy here to multiply. I get 3,360 when I times it by 20. And I get 1,502 when I times it by 9. I added these two numbers together. I ended up getting 4,862. Now I'm going to add my 10, which is the remainder, to get 4,872, which is exactly what I started off with to begin with, 4,872. So as you're doing this, maybe you keep identifying certain mistakes you're making. Maybe it's your multiplication facts over here. Maybe it's your subtraction. Um, maybe you're forgetting to check your answers and you're forgetting to add the remainder to get your original 4,872 over here. Take your time and really try to identify where is it I'm making my mistakes. If you can do that, you're less likely to make them again. Okay? Best of luck. Go ahead and do that exit ticket now, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.